Hey, it's Joe Lyons. In, uh, in this video, we're going to demonstrate connecting using API to connect to Smart Sheets, which is uh, an online, kind of like a Google Docs type thing. You can have your quote unquote spreadsheets online, have them. Um, it's a great way to share stuff. Uh, there's, of course, pros and cons to anything, but um, the API is pretty easy to use. Of course, you got to go create, um, get your token set up first. Uh, so go create an account, um, get your token. And then uh, this is where you can read more about the documentation. I have saved my token into my file, so I'm just reading it in, so I don't have to delete it after. But um, this is how I'm passing it through with AutoHotKey. This is my, let me add a little note here. So everything from here down, this this part right here is my API call. And then here I'm just dealing with the data that comes back. So let's, uh, first I'm gonna show you the data that comes directly back from it. And so I'm, my at the beginning part because I didn't know I have this spreadsheet with a couple rows of data and a couple columns. Um, I didn't know the ID to it and I couldn't find a way, interesting enough, inside the uh, the, the GUI version to see the ID. Um, it must be somewhere, I gotta think. Um, yeah, I have a free account so I guess it's not gonna let me do that. Anyway, um, so they have an API call right here where I'm just going to go to connect to the endpoint is sheets and this is going to get me a list of the different sheets I have and so I'm passing that endpoint down to here there is no query string I, I have it in here just because I like keeping things consistent um, but there is no query string in this example because I'm passing the token through as a bearer token in the authorization here in this header and so I'm going to save it reload and run it Oh, I need to launch it. That would help. Alright, so now I launched it. And now this is what it returned. Um, which actually isn't too hard to read, right? We can see here the ID. Um, I have total count of one spreadsheets or you know worksheets, whatever you want to call them. And the ID is this. And so that is what I then took here. So let me comment out this line. And I'm going to make my ID there. And I'm passing it to... Um, now we're we saying we're saying sheets slash and then the sheet ID number, and both of these are going to get passed as the endpoint. And now, whoops! When I save, reload, and run it, you're going to see the data come back in here. And this is where it was like, wow, it, it's all here, and this is JSON format, but it's it's awfully hard to, for me to read. Uh, I think if you're used to looking at objects, it's not too bad. But um, I'm going to demonstrate this format JSON function which is basically going to try to make it a little bit prettier and, and leverage the structure that's there. So I'm going to rerun this thing. So now I've extracted the data and now it kind of gives you that structure, right, that you'll often see in XML too. Um, so here's the ID. The name of my thing is test. It's version 2, total 2 rows. Um, and let's see, let's scroll down a little bit here. And we'll start seeing... Um, here's column 2. Uh, and, and it's telling you the format type. Um, three, four, five, six, okay. And here's the data, right? So column ID, so they even have IDs for the stuff. So column, uh, the value is one, display value, one. And two, and two, right? So anyway, you can parse it. Um, obviously there's a lot more stuff you can do with this, but uh, just as a quick example of how easy it is to connect to an API, uh, extract data you want, so you could build a program to go automatically export exactly the cells you want, right? Um, I, it would export the whole thing, but then you can go pick and choose, parse the JSON, and just return exactly what you want. And uh, that's it. I was going to say up in here, I don't see smart sheets. Now maybe I didn't pay attention to it, but um, a lot of them will have a way to return either XML or JSON, and this one, let's take a quick look here at the uh, documentation. I haven't. I looked at it. I, I did this in about ten minutes worth of work, um, creating a, creating the demo file, cre you know, creating my account and everything, and uh, it was super easy. So sample code SDK is getting started. It pro often is in here, and they'll tell you how you can basically pass a parameter. Um, let me see. Do we have registration? Frequently asked questions. So, um, it doesn't matter. I was just hoping to see that we could say, uh, that, uh, you know, return it in XML. So, let's 
smart sheets are commission of status code, error codes were commissioned in JSON format of the error objects. Um, and oh, uh, one of 173. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to read that. Um, so here, the, this said, uh, unless otherwise specified, so to me, um, maybe we can actually have it return uh, XML. Let's see if I can find XML. No XML listed, that's concerning. Okay, so I uh, I paused the video there because I was looking around to see if I could export it as uh, XML, and it didn't look like I could. However, I, I saw I could save it as uh, either Excel or a CSV, and so um, I came back in here. I commented out some of these things I didn't need anymore. Um, this is for the output, of course. And this um, ADODB stream, this is how you can save a binary file um, in the default um, Actually, two is the default, which is text, and so you need to set it to one. Um, I put a sleep in here just to live it, give it a second, literally a second, to uh, wait for the file to be there. And then I'm going to open the connection. Um, and actually, this is wrong, because I, I, I borrowed this from a MS XML um, API call, which I, I probably should adapt the one up above, too. Um, but let's uh, wait after it. I'll just call. API completes. And then what I do is I take the HTTP response body, and that's what comes back as the body, right? And I'm putting it, I write the body um, to a specific file. It's in the it's in the current directory, and I'm going to call it data.csv. And notice here, right now, there is no data.csv file. So when I save this, reload it, and let me get back to there so you can see this. Um, that is the wrong, this is where I borrowed from. So let me close that get back into here okay and when I run it you're gonna see I just hit the button and here's my data.csv and when I open this in Excel you can see let me see do I still have my smart sheet version open um, you can see and actually uh, it looks like when I inserted this I inserted some blank columns too because those come through right I named them I must have named them um, those but uh, the data got exported into my Excel file. Well, let me restate that. To my CSV file. So if I was to uh, come back here, sorry, not there, here, and drag this onto site, um, we would see it's a CSV uh, file exported. So, of course, if you didn't want to go parse that whole um, JSON format, right, you can save the file and then manipulate it from there. Uh, depending, of course, on the data, if you want, um, if you only want pieces of it, being able to parse that JSON and not save all of it and deal with the file and all that stuff, that'd be pretty awesome. So uh, that was a good example there of how you can uh, save a binary file with an API call. Um, again, I'll, I'll do another one here um, at some point discussing the uh, the whole saving of a binary. And I probably should adapt above to the, I forget what it is, at MS, let me see, XML, um, this is where I had borrowed it from, to this one. Cool. All right.